Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got to hang out with some people again. We also saved some people in Tartarus, uh, well, one person and one cat. And in this episode, it is time for the next full moon operation. We have to win this time too. I'll give it everything I've got so that I can see Korochan again now that he's gotten better. The population of the Lost increases noticeably before a full moon. I have reconfirmed my objective to assure we win at any cost, no matter what. Do you need some more time to get used to uh, the operations? I'm good, thanks. Good luck on the next one as well. I'll be rooting from you from the shadows. <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous about tomorrow. I think I'm gonna check one more time to make sure I'm fully prepared. I'm sure we'll be fine. We've got- we're pretty decently leveled. We've got the best equipment from Kurosawa. We'll be good. Yo. Oh, perfect timing. I got some good news, so I was thinking of splurging and cooking up something nice. Sonata seems enthusiastic. Sonata might get a new ability soon. Sweet! Hell yeah, I'll join ya. Thanks, and let's get to it. Just in time for this next operation. I'll handle the cooking. You just eat, and then take care of cleanup afterwards. This time, I want to try Hot Pot. I can probably handle that, right? Hey, don't worry. We've got chicken, onions, carrots, mushrooms, tofu. Hmm, nothing strange here. Just regular ingredients. All right. Why don't you go get a plate and sit tight? I've been so busy lately. I've had to leave most of the boxing team activities to the junior members, but they actually won a team event at a rookie tournament. So, I thought I'd put together this little celebration for them. That's the way, Captain. Actually, I've been so occupied with my own problems that I haven't been able to coach them much. Still, they appreciate the work I do put in, so I'm proud of them. <laughs> I gotta say though, Hot Pot is an interesting concept. Every ingredient adds its own flavor, and the end result is so great. It'd be nice if C's could mesh just as well, with a ragtag group of members. I think they could. <laughs> I know everyone's wildly different from each other, but if there's anyone who can make it work, it's you. Anyway, when I'm out there on the front lines, I'll make sure I'm in a position to showcase my strengths. Boxing's taught me that once I get into the rhythm of battle, nothing can stop me. That's my fighting style. Don't forget it. All right, what are we getting? The effects of buffs on self, okay. It's nice to be able to share a hot pot with someone else like this. I'm not really one who uses uh, and this is a huge weakness of mine and something that I need to start doing because it's kind of essential to RPGs, but I'm the kind of person who doesn't often use buffs and debuffs and stuff like that when playing RPGs. I know that's a flaw of mine. I need to start actually strategizing with those more. But with Persona games, which are a bit on the easier side, I don't really need to think about it too much. But I promise I will start working on that and start actually trying out those moves a bit more. Maybe I'll do this with the boxing team too, if I ever get a chance. All right, now how do we finish the broth? Maybe udon or rice porridge? Or how about some protein dumplings? All right, I'm getting a bit nervous, but Ah, I'm sure it's fine. There will be a full moon tonight. A powerful shadow will appear. I should stay home today and conserve my strength. Well, here we are. A full moon once again. Any luck, Yamagishi? Yes, I can sense it. There's a shadow reading tonight, as expected. That's what I'm talking about. It's located by the deserted houses in the northern part of Iwatodai, but there's something strange. 
The reading is coming from underground. Almost ten meters. Maybe it's in some kind of basement? According to the records for the Northern Harbor, there are no structures that match that criteria. However, there once was an underground facility used by the military. The military? Is that true? Well, the architectural and geographical data for the area was uploaded into her memory. Then again, the information hasn't been updated in ten years. Correct. The data is ten years old. Shouldn't someone fix that? So how exactly do we proceed? Uh, is the facility still there? We won't know more until we actually get there. Old relics of war. It seems the situation is still unclear at this time. With that in mind, we'll wait until we arrive before we decide who should be deployed. Agreed. Understood. All right, let's go. Uatodai Northern Harbor, underground facility entrance. I didn't know there was a place like this so close by. Target should be around here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> well done. Who are they? Lucia couldn't sense them at all until now! It's so nice to finally meet you in person. My name is Takaya. This is Jin. We are known to some as Strega. Now then, we've been keeping an eye on your activities for some time. From what we hear, you've undertaken a righteous battle to save the world. Unfortunately, we've come here tonight to put an end to that. What did you say? You've gained many new allies in such a short time. No doubt because this land crawls with sin. Ah, Tartarus is towering as beautifully as always. You know about Tartarus? You know... Wait, why the hell would you want to stop us? <laughs> it ain't rocket science. If shadows in the dark hour disappear, we could lose our power. And that's not something we can abide by. Get it? Power? Are you saying you're Persona users too? I implore you to think more carefully. Do you really want to lose your abilities? Not just anyone can wield the power of a Persona. The Dark Hour is a frontier that is ours alone to explore. And the same goes for the Tower of Demise. That's your reason for stopping us? Then you're the ones who need to think. Who knows what might happen if we don't do something? A catastrophe brought on by the shadows. What difference does it make, really? Disasters will always exist. And humans will always destroy each other, regardless of what the shadows do. Either way, no one can predict what misfortunes will befall who. But more importantly, it's time you accepted the truth. Surely you will acknowledge the sense of fulfillment the Dark Hour has given you. You're wrong. Yeah! You think I like this? Is it not so? How about the rest of you? Do you also wish to return to your pathetic ordinary lives? Huh? I don't enjoy this at all. Whatever. You all got your own selfish reasons for fighting. That so-called justice of yours? Ain't nothing but an excuse. There's nothing righteous about any of you. You're all just hypocrites. Like hell you chumps are gonna stop us. What did you say? <laughs> Have fun in there. Damn it! They locked us in. There is no need to panic. Instead of wasting resources, I recommend we prioritize the Shadow first. 
Great. If we freak out, then we're just giving them what they want. Shadow's moving. I think it's noticed us. All right. Let's focus on our original goal. We can look for a way out after we've won. Go ahead and select your team. Everyone, prepare for battle. Leader! There was a slight accident, but let's focus on the mission for now. I feel the target's presence from beyond that door. Once you're ready, we can go. So yeah, that was Caesar's first interaction with Strega. Their question is a bit interesting of like, do you want to save the world if it means giving up your persona abilities? But that always seemed like an easy question to me. Because like, yeah, of course, no duh, I want to save the world if it means... I I'd give it up if it means uh, saving the world. Because like, I guess for some people, this is like one of the only like cool things they get to do in their lives. Because it's kind of like an escape, letting them do something real interesting. Uh, instead of just being normal, boring teenagers. But, like, I don't know. The, the question was always just, like, really easily answerable to me. Constantly putting your life at risk doesn't seem all that fun to me. And if it means saving the world, then yeah, I'll give it up. I don't know if I'm exactly putting what I want to say into words properly. I'm not very good at explaining things. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this full moon. I remember this being a bit of a tough one. I sense the target two blocks ahead of you. It seems to be moving slowly downward. Don't let it get away. All right. It seems this facility was in use during wartime. This place. Atmospherically, this place is incredible. It seems it was some kind of armory during the war. These tread marks. They're new. I wonder. Is this... Why is the Mitsuru's line randomly not voiced? These might belong to our target. Let's keep an eye out. Why is it always Mitsuru's lines, which are the weird ones? Like how I pointed out before, how whenever she says Makoto Yuki's name, she just doesn't say anything, it's just silence. So whenever she has a text box that just says Yuki, it's just awkward silence for some reason. And now this, not just not adding a voice line there. It's so weird. I don't know why that happens. Uh, got a revival bead too, in fact. What are all these documents? In the hopes that this message will reach my loved ones, I have sealed this journal for its protection. We few survivors have ensured the completion of our goal. So many of our cohorts will never know our success. I pray their spirits will find rest in the wake of this turmoil. To my mother, my wife, and my children, please do not think that I have abandoned you. If securing your futures means giving my life, then I will have done so happily. Honor my memory by living. These little, uh... The little lights, like, look really cool in the dark right there. I don't know why. Those Persona users just now. Better exercise caution around them. Lucia can sense them at all. Sorry, I'll concentrate on the shadow. Target's gaining speed! It's continuing down the tunnel! Hurry and take the down! The target stopped! It turned around! It's waiting for us one block down! Please be careful! Alright, it seems like seems like we finally cornered it. Up ahead. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. This is the source of the tread marks? It looks like the shadow is using the Tangus armor! Get ready, everyone! Here it comes! Its arcana is justice! Uh, no, wait! It's... chariot? What? I only see one enemy, but I'm sensing two of them! I've never seen a shadow like this before! Very interesting. It seems like we've got two for the price of one. So this is our fourth boss fight, I believe. And uh, now that I'm st slowly starting to remember what this boss fight was, was all about, yeah, I remember this one being a bit tough. I think we'll be able to, t 
to pull through it though. Uh, let's throw out some fire. I forget if it has a weakness at all, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, it seems like it's just resisting everything. High explosive shell. Oh god, that did way more damage than I expected. Okay, who has good healing abilities? I forget if anybody has good healing abilities, so... I have a few personas with media. Do I have anything stronger, or... Nope, so... Heal everyone up. Thank you. That did not a lot, to be honest, but... I can work with it. I'll negate its ice resistance. Do we have any good healing items on us that can heal everyone? We have a lot of healthy tomatoes, and I'll give that to Sonata. Yeah, now everyone's health is kind of at a good point. Okay, it's targeting Yuki, so... I'm gonna guard. What do you have? Oh, scan. Oh god, yeah, it seems like everything except for ice is being guarded against, and that's... It's only not guarding against ice because we had Mitsuru do her thing, so... Bufala, see how much damage this can do. Not a whole lot, actually. I mean, it's a boss fight, so I don't expect it to do a whole lot, but... I wanted it to do at least a little bit more. 87. Oh, okay, I'm not the most observant guy in the world, so... There'll probably be a lot of times on this channel where I'm like, Oh, I just noticed something, and you'll be like, Duh, that's so obvious, how do you not recognize that? The C, the like the big C design for command is also meant to look like a like a moon, because it's Persona Three. It has to do with the moon a lot. I can't believe I didn't recognize that earlier. Please don't make fun of me in the comments. Uh, Buffalo. Oh, come on, Yuki! Wait, I, sh I probably should have had him guard, huh? Because... It's still aiming at him, isn't it? Ah, oh, this is... Or did it change targets, and I just didn't notice? This'll suck if... It didn't change targets. Please don't one-shot me. Oh no, it did change targets to I guess. Never mind. Okay. Everyone's getting close to their theurgies, so we'll be able to dish out a lot more damage in like two seconds. Shall I move to strike? Kind of, I don't really have too much to talk about for the rest of this boss fight, so... Um, one funny thing that YouTube does, YouTube Mobile at least, is that, you know, it'll send me a notification saying, Hey, um, oh god, make sure everyone guards. It'll send me a notification saying like, Hey, this video might be just for you. We've like, looked at all of your... at all the stuff you watch and we realized that this might be right up your alley. And like, 70% of the time, it's one of my own videos. And I think it's very funny, like, yeah, obviously, m videos I made are right up my alley. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Fuka.
One thing that happens to me, I don't know if this happens to anybody else who makes videos, let me know, is that for some reason, af like right after I finish either recording videos or editing videos or uploading videos, finish that thought later, that's right. That's right, this boss fight is actually two boss fights packed into one, similar to the one that happened when we first uh, recruited Fuka. So, interesting thing about this boss fight is that, um, I'll give you this uh, pointer right now, just so you don't make the same mistake I did when I first played through this game. Make sure you kill them both at the same time. Because if you kill one, oh, I guess you're not it. I don't know why I did that. If you kill one, and then if you kill one of them and then leave the other alive, uh, on its next turn, it will immediately revive the other to full health. Ah, uh, this will probably kill the turret. So, I don't want to do that. Or do I? No, let's just try it out. This might be a very stupid idea. In fact, I'm confident that it's very stupid. But let's just see what it does. I want to see how much damage it does. Oh, that was not a lot of damage at all. One step at a time. Alright, but now we know what, like, how much damage a Theurgy does to the tank, which is not a lot. It's, that's pretty much, the tank itself is the main boss fight here. Um, whereas the turret is... Whereas the turret is more of just, like, to go along with the gimmick of there being two. Or Gia mode. Let's see how much damage this does. It's definitely not going to kill it, because that would be insane. That did quite a bit of damage, though. I guess I'll just get to show this off so you can see. <laughs> I really like Igus's Orkia mode design, how it has the lights coming out. It reminds me of a butterfly, which is very fitting for this series. I'll go with... you want that. Do you have any weaknesses I should know about? No. Okay. Having everyone focus on the actual tank here, because I feel like Orgia Mode Igus might accidentally, or might go after the turret, and in that case I want to get the tank down as quickly as possible. I went after both of them. That was actually really good, thank you Orgia Mode Igus. I'm actually getting pretty lucky this boss fight, all things considered. Alright, just focus on the tank, and then I think like one... I think like a swift breeze could take out the turret at this point, so... Yeah, there we go. So the tank is down. I think if we just focus on the turret real quick, it'll go down so quickly. 
one attack and the boss fight is done. Thankfully that didn't go as bad as I thought it would. Now everyone, everyone's up to level 34, except for the ones not in the party, obviously. Yes, I'm here. This is Mitsuru. We've neutralized the target. Ah, good work. Come on back. Actually, there's been a complication. We ran into some interference during the mission. It seems they were Persona users. Persona users? Yes, more than one. They appeared during the dark hour and seemed to know who we were. Hmm. Did they say anything that might give us a hint to who they are? Now that you mention it, I believe they called themselves Strega. Strega? Hmm. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. There's one other thing I have to report. We unfortunately fell into Strega's trap, so we're locked inside the facility. Ah, I see. Since the threat has been eliminated, I'll send someone over as soon as I can. I'm sorry for the trouble. We'll be waiting. Other Persona users. <sighs> Who the hell is Ikutsuki gonna send over? Because as far as I know, no one else knows about the operation. Ah, uh, who knows. An unexpected enemy has emerged. They seem to be Persona users as well. But we still succeeded in defeating the Shadows this month. There should be fewer victims for a while. I'm exhausted. I can't wait to get some rest. Oh, someone wants to talk to us. Got a text message. Oh, baby. Um, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I assume I could still hang out with you, right? It's been like a month. I forget how this game works. Oh, voice on the TV. And now to more disturbing news. A missing resident was found, but with apathy syndrome. The victim displayed no signs of external trauma, and police have ruled out the possibility that this was the cause of, the, of a criminal incident. Yeah, I can talk to Bebe anytime. So that ends another chapter or arc or however you want to classify it in our Persona 3 Reload Let's Play. I always forget that I can control the camera with right stick in this room. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and in the next episode we're going to be continuing on through August, getting back to our normal daily lives and come ever closer to, our, to the end of our summer break. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!